hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to prepare fufu with africa's finest fufu flour so i have already boiled some water and then i am going to add the flour to it keep serving whilst you are adding the flour or else you are going to get lumps and have you noticed that i am not doing it on the stove top i'm doing it separately and in that way, I make sure there are no lumps. If you can't do it yourself, ask someone to help you. Next, I am going to paddle. Make sure you've got good arms because you need to paddle, 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 paddle until it all comes together. So it might take you a few minutes, especially if you are preparing a very big fufu like i am because it will be for five people although i did not use the whole box i think i left about 50 grams of fufu flour next when it comes together you need to add water so i have got about half a cup of water here and then i will transfer it back to the stove top and then I'll wait until the water I have just added boils and then I'll keep paddling. Always look at the heat, make sure it is not too high, do it on a medium heat. And you saw me reducing the heat now. And again, keep paddling. Make sure you use a wooden spoon, don't go and try a silver one please or else your fufu is going to be messed up you won't even be able to paddle the fufu and look at this it is nice and sticky coming up together by the way there are different ways of preparing fufu flour we can also start it with cold water but to be honest with you i have never tried that one always with boiled water so now i have prepared my apotoyua or asanka and I've added some water I am not going to transfer the fufu in my asanka and then I am also going to show you a close-up here so that you can really see how it looks like now we are going to shape our fufu and for that you need to have your tapoli although you can do it manually but doing it manually no it doesn't work out for me i like to use my tapoli so i also have some water next to me because when it gets sticky i like to dip my tapoli in the water so that it stops it from sticking so now you need to shape it with your hand and with the tapoli so i always go under and then put it on top it's a whole process but you know with a bit of practice it will be fine and then when i'm happy with the shape i just flip it and this is it you've got a nice fufu floor enough for five people and this is a close-up here so don't forget if it gets sticky when you are shaping it just use some water and then it will be all right you can eat fufu with any type of soup you like i'm going to eat it with my fish soup and i also have the recipe so go check it out i decided to use africa's finest fufu because i have tried all the other ones and this one is the closest to the authentic Ghanaian um, fufu made at home this one has a different texture. The texture is a bit more um, dense and a bit more thick. And this is why I chose this one. But you can try Mama's Choice or Need Fufu. Okay? So now let's eat. Let's Thank you all for watching this quick recipe on how to prepare fufu and I hope you're going to try it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!